Morning. Good morning, everybody. And it looks like they're going to get still a little bit today going on. Avalanche warning still remains a little bit in the Tahoe area because of just what you've seen, all that collection. Going forward, getting a break Thursday, Friday, it looks like. Jumping quickly to Storm Tracker 4, there you see the action, this nice line right here through the Bay Area, right mid-Bay, and extends all the way up to Solano County through Contra Costa County, Richmond. Looks like the Bay Bridge and down through, let's get south, to the peninsula. As you can see, Half Moon Bay and points further south. It looks like it's spreading out a little bit too, getting into Redwood City, San Mateo as well. Now, the basic pattern of this is northeasterly to later on to the north, but new waves are expected to develop as the day progresses. Temperatures for you, not a lot of movement here, middle 40s on the board. Here's the big low that we're watching. That's going to be our big weather driver. Its proximity will always be out to sea, as all the projections are, which is good news because you get too close to the center of the low, and that would drive all kinds of action here. Now, we're going to get daytime heating, so that means the possibility for some thunder showers to develop later today. If one does pop, severe thunderstorm warning, what does that mean? Just a quick review here. That basically means you're getting surface winds beyond 58 miles an hour or hey, that potentially could be an inch or greater in diameter. Uh, they mean a loft, though, but they'll monitor that. Let us know if that happens, and Futurecast 4 will watch it go forward. There you have it by 1.30 after we get some heating, particularly in those higher elevations, because that causes sometimes locally stronger storms there through the upsloping action. Get a break into the evening, which is good. Break up those skies, let some cooling happening here, and then we're going into a relative calm period Thursday, Friday, but things get more interesting as we get actually past the weekend into next week looks like more instability uh future cast four in terms of those winds get into the teens but you should remember if you're under a thunder shower locally you can have some heavier winds so again got to watch out for that all right look ahead to the whole game plan putting it all together for you it's l the late this week is variable clouds we're taking a break sunshine clouds mixture over the weekend there's another system over saturday night sunday to watch out for that potentially maybe give us rain but it's next week that things look to be unstable as well starting about tuesday wednesday